Hi guys, it's Tana Mojo and it is currently like 6.30 in the morning and the sun is rising so if the light is like a little bit weird, my bad, I'm sorry. But it feels so good to be in my house filming a video with like sunlight and like not a ring light and like just chilling, like way more natural, less like lights, cameras, action. I'm happy, needless to say. So I'm about to hop on a flight to Los Angeles to hang out with Simply Nessa 15, she's the home girl, and we're gonna go to Disneyland. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I have a very weird mental picture of Disneyland, I guess you could put it. And this weekend, or this week, past week, <laughs> I was explaining to my boyfriend how I have a very weird connotation of Disneyland. And he was like, why? And then I went to like tell him these stories, and then I was like, holy shit, like this should be a YouTube video. So basically I'm just going to tell you the story about the first time I went to Disneyland and how fucking weird it was and then summarize a few experiences of other weird Disneyland trips after that because like I just every time I went to Disneyland as a kid something fucking weird would happen and I feel like it's necessary to make a video. So yeah I hope this weekend at Disneyland weird shit doesn't happen to me but I just want to hop into these stories. Sorry about this light I see it and I don't know how to fix it but anyways okay so my first time going to Disneyland I was like five or six years old probably and as most of you guys know I get really bad nosebleeds. I will eventually make a whole video of weird nosebleed stories. There are thousands and thousands. My nose bled on a guy's face. You guys can find that old video. Like, I get horrible nosebleeds to the point that blood, like, will fill up in my nose and come out of my eyes, out of my ears, out of my mouth. Like, I've had my nose cauterized, packed a thousand bajillion times. The only way to fix it is surgery, which I haven't done. I'll probably do one day. But anyways, yeah, really fucked up nose, really deviated septum, dry, cracked, bled all the time. Bleeds less now, but it bled a lot when I was a kid, like so, so, so much. I couldn't play sports. I couldn't do shit as a kid because of my nosebleeds. So, on to the story now. I just wanted to give you a little bit of backstory, you know? So my first time at Disneyland, I'm like five or six years old. I get to Disneyland, we walk around. My parents kind of like familiarize me with Disneyland first, you know what I mean? Like, before we ride any rides, like walk around, I meet the characters, I get like mouse ears, blah, blah, blah. I familiarize with Disneyland, and then the first ride I choose to ride is Dumbo Ride. I love Dumbo as a kid. Dumbo, if you're not from America, or I don't know if Disneyland is in other countries, I'm sure it is, they're a fucking fat ass company. But like, it's like that elephant with big ears, and there's a ride at Disneyland, it would be easier if you just googled Dumbo Ride Disneyland, but basically it's where all these big Dumbo things like fly around way high up in the air, like decently fast and you like ride that ride. It's kind of like if somebody took a Ferris wheel and like turned it on its side. That's basically what it was. So I go up in this ride with my mom and my dad is standing down there filming us. And we get up in this ride and it's really fun. I'm having a great fucking time. And normally my nose would only bleed if it was hot or if I was stressed out, which is like normal. I don't know, like not normal, but I mean like normal for me. And it wasn't that hot and I wasn't stressed at all. I was having a great fucking time. But all of a sudden my nose starts pouring blood. And when I say pouring, I mean like turn a faucet on. That's actually how several doctors describe my nosebleeds. Like when I was in the hospital getting it like packed, like that they'd never seen something like it before. It was like turning a faucet on and just letting the water run. Like that's how I had my nosebleeds. So my nose starts pouring blood and my mom is much more freaked out by blood and like has always kind of like not panicked, but just been like, oh my god, like when my nose starts bleeding. Whereas my dad, like I said in my last video, was a surgeon in Vietnam, like he doesn't freak out by blood, like, you know what I mean? So my mom's like, oh my god, we have no tissues, no nothing, like nothing. So I start pinching my nose with my hand, she's like trying to pinch it, whatever. And this ride is going around so fucking fast. And so we start, like, not really me, but like my mom starts trying to like signal the like person operating the ride, like stop the ride, like stop the ride, like stop the fucking ride, my kid is like pouring blood. And then this was the first time that I ever had a nosebleed come out of my mouth. For a long time growing up, they, it would only bleed really bad out of my nose, but as I started getting older, it would bleed out of my mouth. That's very, very common because when your sinus tract fills up, where does it go? Your mouth. If there's too much, it comes out of your eyes. That had never happened to me. So it starts coming out of my mouth and I'm spitting up blood. And like now, if that happens, I'll just like spit it casually. It's like so casual now, like, or I'll like swallow it even, which is gross, but it's the truth. But I didn't know that, so I'm like, <laughs> like I'm like, like gagging up a bunch of blood. My mom starts freaking out. She starts crying at this point. And we're trying to signal the person of the ride, which is like at the bottom of the ride. And we're like up in the air, like lot, like very high in the air. And so they, like the person doing the ride is not gonna notice it. We realize we're just gonna have to like ride it out, which is the scariest feeling ever as a child. I remember this so vividly. So then the like people that are like next to us and shit realize that I'm like pouring blood and start screaming. Like the kids, like in the ride, like there's like a kid, two kids with a family 
running, sort of screaming at the top of their fucking lungs. And then the people behind us is like two like teenagers, like a teenage girl and teenage boy, and they start trying to signal the people at the bottom right, at the bottom of the ride. So finally the guy at the bottom of the ride notices, shuts the ride off, and there is blood all over this ride. It looks like somebody took like a hamster and just like cracked it open and like poured all the blood out everywhere. Like so much blood all over this ride, all over my hands, all over me, like so shitty. My mom is like freaking out. She has blood all over her hands, whatever. We get down to the bottom of the ride and then the people like, es like the Disneyland people, like people are called, they're calling like for backup for me. Like come escort us out, like the first aid people. Then the ride people start like cleaning the ride. We are like those people at Disneyland now. Like all the people leaving the ride are like, oh my fucking God, I'm gonna go to motherfucking SeaWorld. Please don't go to SeaWorld. SeaWorld is bad, but like, Bye. Yeah, bad. So people start cleaning it. They have to shut down the ride for the next like three hours. Like every time we would pass by it, like the ride was still shut down because they had to like sanitize it because what if I had like baby AIDS or something? I don't know. Yeah. So then the first aid people are like giving me stuff from my nose. Like they're calming my parents down. They get me all cleaned up, give my mom stuff. So like I'm in like the medical part of Disneyland. Like they take us to like this room. It's like a doctor's office at Disneyland. Disneyland also has jail, by the way, which was right by the doctor's office. Sketch. I don't know. Anyways, they're like cleaning me up and like I get all clean and they're like, you can stay at Disneyland, but you can't ride any more rides for the rest of the day because we don't want this to have to happen again. I'm sorry. Like it's a safety hazard. It's a health hazard to you. What if you want a big ride? You know what I mean? Like it's bad. Like blah, blah, blah. Like we don't, we can't shut down the rides. Like they make us money. You know what I mean? Etc. So I get to walk around Disneyland for the rest of the day and cry because all I can do is like meet the characters, eat at restaurants. Like that's like fun. You know what I mean? But Disneyland is an amusement park for rides that I now can't ride at my first time at Disneyland and it was my first ride so like I only got to ride that one ride all day and then we go like back over by the ride to see like if they're like cleaning it and they're showing pictures like from the people who were riding it like previously on like a screen because at Disneyland you can like buy pictures from every ride like the, they have like cameras and there's just pictures of me with like blood all over my face and like screaming and crying and shit and they like can't remove them because you can't like remove the pictures and it was just so, so, so bad, like, just so bad, like, and what's funny is while my dad was at the bottom, he was, like, recording the whole thing, and forever, we had this family home video that was just so, like, funny when you looked back on it, like, the time we shut down a Disneyland ride, and I wish I still could find that, but I've moved houses too much since then, and I don't know where it is, and I wish I could include it in this video to improve validity for those who are skeptical. <laughs> So the next portion of this story is a very, very short one. It's just something weird that happened to me. While I was at Disneyland, another ride, this was like another trip to Disneyland. The trip was going perfectly, whatever. But there is this ride in Disneyland that is so creepy. And I want you guys to just look it up. Honestly, I will, I'll explain it a little bit, but it's called It's a Small World. If you know what it is, you may not think it's creepy. Some people don't, I fucking do. It's basically a ride where you get in this gondola, which is like a boat in a water ride, and you're trying to like simulate kind of like a river where you're driving through like a small town basically and there are all these little like troll doll looking people that are like standing around saying like it's a small world after all but it's like very very creepy it's very like dimmed lighting the music's like super loud lights are like flashing in my opinion it's very creepy Disneyland doesn't want to portray it as like scary but like imagine being in like a dark river canal place and there's no like windows or lighting to outside at all it's like you're like trapped in there in this boat and it's moving slowly and all these people are shouting like, eh. hi, sorry about that random jump cut. My camera died for literally no reason. So I just charged the battery, ate some macaroons, and I am back. But like I was saying, all these things sing like, it's a small world. It's so creepy to me. Like, I don't understand why anyone, and this, it's geared towards children, obviously. So I don't understand why anyone thinks that that's like fun to ride through a dark room on a boat in the water with lights flashing at you. No sign of like outside happy light that is Disneyland. And hundreds and hundreds of tiny creepy, they're just like clowns some of them, are singing at you like, it's a small world after all. It's a, like, so creepy, like the, all the voices are like in sync, so it sounds like like hundreds of like creepy children like singing at you. So, 
I'm riding through this ride with like, you know, other bunch, lots of other people, like it's a very big like fake boat thing, you know? Yeah, so we're riding through this ride and all of a sudden, midway through the ride, the ride stops and it should never stop, like it goes all the way through, whatever. It stops, everyone kind of starts to freak out and then over the intercom comes like a man's voice and is like, hi ladies and gentlemen of Disneyland, it's a small world after all, like we're having some te technical difficulties, like we thank you for your patience, the ride will be out shortly, blah, blah blah, blah, etc. So, that happens, whatever, we all just kind of sit there, but it keeps go, like, we keep waiting and waiting and waiting, like, this keeps going on and on and on, like, nothing happens for, like, 20 minutes, so then kids start crying, children start screaming, it's completely dark in this room, the lights are completely out, and then all of a sudden, randomly, the lights start flashing, and we think that that's because, like, the ride is coming back on or something, bitch, are you wrong, no, they didn't fix anything, the gondola is still staying still, the lights start flashing, and it's, like, white and purple, just, like, white, purple, dark, white, purple, dark, like, creepy, you know what I mean, and then all of the children start singing, like, it's a small world after all, but the fucking gondola is just staying still, so we're sitting around all these, like, hundreds of things, like, it's a small world, with the lights, normally the lights, like, go slow and like like peacefully I guess but they're like duh 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 literally like what I would like imagine a scary movie to be like you know what I mean so then the lights cut but the kids don't stop singing so then we're just sitting in the dark kids are screaming crying I start crying it's so scary all the parents are trying to be like calm down calm down calm down and you know like when you go from light to dark how at first you can't see everything and then your eyes eventually start to like adjust and you can like see in the dark a little bit you know what I mean so then my eyes start to adjust, and then you're just in the dark, and in the dark, all of these little creepy children are still singing like, it's a small world after all, and I'm just sitting in this boat, like feet away from us, so the, oh, feet away from them, sorry. So yeah, so, so, so creepy. So then they can't get the boat to start working. So Disneyland workers have to come out like in the dark and start getting people off of this boat. And keep in mind from the boat, to like the ledge where the little like small world characters are. It's about like this much like water. You know what I mean? And the water's only like this deep. But we're having to like hop over the water and onto the like place where like the little creepy children are. And then walk on this little tiny like walkway through all these creepy ass children and imagine having to like have them touch you after being so scared of them singing. Walk all the way through, walk out of the ride. All these Disneyland employees are like standing out there like outside finally, like telling us sorry, whatever. So, so sketchy. Okay, so this is the last portion of the story and I'm gonna hurry through this one because it's very, very like minuscule. Just ironic adding to the portion of me saying every time I go to Disneyland something weird happens. So in like 2007 or 2008, I'm not really sure, you can google this because it is a thing. I went to Disneyland on the hottest day that Disneyland had experienced in over 10 years. Because in Anaheim, California, it gets hot in the summertime, it was in July. It gets hot in the summertime, but it only ever gets like 99 or 100, like 101, 102. That's pussy shit to me. I live in Las Vegas. In the summertime, by the time it's like May 20th or so, it's 105. June, July, August, 115, 120. It's been 120 where I live. I am used to extreme heat and functioning in it, you know what I mean? So like 99, 101 in the summertime in July is like nice weather, you know what I mean? To where the rest of the world it's like scalding hot, you know? So I go to Disneyland on July whatever, like I don't know when it was. I was probably like, like 8, 9, maybe 10, I don't even know, whatever. So we get there and it is Vegas weather hot. It is like 108 and that is the hottest Disneyland had literally been in so long or like forever or like just something like that. You can actually Google it. But anyways, we're riding all these rides, we're going through Disneyland, whatever. We get about four or five rides in and it's too hot to be at Disneyland. Like I'm gonna be so honest with you, it was just miserable. It wasn't fun, you know what I mean? And like everyone was like that. Like all the people we would like run into or like talk to were like this is fucking not even fun, like it's miserable, blah blah blah. So we finally like after drinking our own water, like just like one water or something, decide that we need to go get like water water, like big bottles. So we go up to this water stand and you will never guess what the guy fucking told us when we asked for water. We're out of water. And we're like, okay, so where's like another water stand? All water stands are out of water. Okay, like do our gift, do gift shops have water? Unfortunately, all gift shops have just run out of water as well. You can go be seated at a restaurant and have a glass of water, but that's all. 
And we're like a glass and they're like, yeah, unfortunately we have to limit restaurant customers to a glass. You can leave Disneyland if you want more water than that and go to a gas station and like come back or something like that. And we're like, what the fuck? Like the nearest gas station to Disneyland is far as shit. And like leaving that would take like an hour. You know what I mean? Just to get water. Water. So then the Disneyland, like, then they start selling these things that are like these, like, bottles of water with, like, fans that mist you attached to them for, like, $50 when they're normally, like, 15 or 20 you know what I mean? So we buy two of those for $100. Drink the water because we need water. And then go to, like, go about our day. And as we're going about our day, the Disneyland speakers, like, play. And they say, attention all Disneyland guests, we're doing this for the first time ever in Disneyland history. We're sorry about the heat and water inconvenience blah 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 there's nothing we can do about that but we're going to let all guests run and play in our fountains which has never happened like they're like big big fountains of water you know what I mean like water fountains like big he's spitting water and shit you know what I mean they're pretty people can't play in them there are coins all in them so then imagine this walking through Disneyland and people are like having water fights in the fountains and like playing in the fountains like I physically like danced in a Disneyland fountain Weird, I don't know. So yeah, I went to Disneyland the only day ever that they ran out of water and the hottest day Disneyland has ever experienced. To the Those are all of my weird Disneyland experiences. That's kind of why I have a weird connotation of Disneyland. I try to block out that it's a small world one because it was genuinely one of the creepiest experiences I ever experienced as a child. I don't know, so yeah. This weekend I hope at Disneyland I have a lot better of a time. So yeah, if you have any weird Disneyland experiences, weird amusement park experiences, anything you want to add to this, weird nosebleed experiences, just fucking anything, leave a comment below. I love talking to you guys. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my vlog channel if you want to see me at Disneyland with Nessa. Sub There's no more subscriptions. <laughs> Follow me on all of my social media just to keep up with me. All that jazz, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, below. Check out my merch if you love me that much. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.